Hello and welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking. I am Jeanne Regretrien, a French chef, a go-go dancer, but also a hula hula player. Yeah, I'm the one who plays music behind the hula hula players sometimes. And today I will be teaching you how to make a potato salad with extra onions. It's vegan and the fun part is... This is a kilo of cooked potatoes and I put them through a machine or something like this that made them look like french fries so the, the potatoes in this potato salad would look like french fries isn't that exciting as it is let's go biggish bowl you put one finely grated or chopped red onion i'm using two because my red onion is minuscule i'm not afraid to say it it is petite there you go that's two or let's pretend one big red onion. To this you add four, no, three uh, finely chopped spring onions. This was just one. There you go, that's three spring onions. And then you add half a deciliter of finely chopped chives. Mine was frozen, but it'll thaw, it'll thaw, it'll thaw. Add one clove of garlic, crushed or, well, maybe some more. They look kind of, yeah, almost dying, aren't they? In the Swedish language, we all say onion about all these, like, like chives and uh, garlic, uh, spring onion and regular onion and red onion, and then garlic is also a, a white garlic. And chives is grass garlic. Now gar, white, no, white onion and, what do we call the white, the look? I don't know what we call the white onion, because there is a sort of white onion, but white onion is called the look. No, garlic is called, is called beetlek, and what was it? Grass, look, it's grass onion, which is quite exciting, but it looks like grass, doesn't it? Now, let's continue on. To this, you add two deciliters of vegan creme fraiche, or as they would say in some countries, I guess, crema fresca. I think this, that, yeah, it sounded Italian, didn't it? Yeah, I bet I speak Italian without even knowing it. Also, you add a deciliter of vegan mayo and I'm going to just going to add everything that's left in this tube. Is it a tube? Yes, it's a tube. And then you add the grated zest of one lemon, or as they say in Italianos, limone. Oh, I'm good at this. That's the zest, and my trick is using one of these. This is a cheese grater, I guess, but it's really, really easy to grate. It gets it really clean. Now, let's use this in this. Yes. And as always, I just, you know, chuck the lemon seeds or orange seeds or lime seeds into any flower pot. Sometimes they grow, sometimes they don't, but I don't care. Now, it's time to mix. Let's add a pinch of salt and maybe, yeah two pinches of salt. You may not be able to see this, but there's a sort of pink hue to this. And then there's the sort of sharp green from the chai. So this sort of makes me think of cassata, the ice cream, you know, with the, whatever, the, I think it's different colors of cherries or something. I don't know, I love it anyway, but I, no, this is instead. So let's add these. Here we go. And then, Mix gently. This lovely potato salad, we will fry two vegan burgers. Here's my vegan dinner, a little late, but it looks really tasty. I feel like the burgers should have something on them, but I can't, you know, can't think of anything to put on them. Not ketchup, but something reddish or something. Anyway, let's just, let's, do, oh, that's tabula, by the way. That's, uh, I think it's a Moroccan salad. It's uh, parsley and uh, lemon and uh, couscous, mostly. But, oh, tomatoes. But let's taste this sucker now. Here we go. Mmm. That was quite good. What is... It's very fresh. It is. There is one. Mm, it eludes me. 
It's the lemon. <laughs> the lemon cuts through it. This is really good. Yeah, this I mean, I will make this again. And it's quite funny, you know, the potatoes being like, it looks like I put French fries in my salad. Mm. But actually, it's quite a good idea because they get, they're quite big, but it's sort of, they thin and so it's, they, it's not a problem. They, they sort of, they get boiled really easily. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.